I'm Alex Cherian, film archivist at San Francisco State University, and this is the Education Archive. You're about to watch news films shot by Cron TV from December 1964, featuring Mario Savio at UC Berkeley. Their academic senate has just voted by an overwhelming majority to support his free speech movement, and the mood on campus is jubilant. Yet only 24 hours earlier, he'd been physically dragged off the stage of the Greek theatre for trying to speak. So here on Savio's 22nd birthday, we see him and thousands of students celebrating their right to assemble and reveling in the freedom of speech. Student rallies at the University of California at Berkeley over the past two months have become commonplace. But today's rally in front of Sproul Hall has taken on a different tone. Several thousand students have gathered for what has been billed as a victory celebration, a victory the students feel is assured as a result of yesterday's action by the Academic Senate. The first speaker, the leader of the free speech movement, Mario Savio. It's been said that we, you know, we've been revolutionaries and all this sort of thing. Uh, in a way, that's true. We've gone back to a traditional view of the university. The traditional view of the university is a community of scholars, of faculty and students get together who, um, you know, with complete, with complete honesty, who bring who bring the hard light who bring the hard light of free inquiry to bear upon upon important matters in the sciences but also in the social sciences the question of just you know what ought to be not just what is now that traditional view of the university um, that's the one that had been attacked by the revolutionaries by those who you know, would make it into a kind of adjunct to industry, to what, to what, uh, you know, to what uh, the government and so forth. Really, the people, people, us, you know, who, who fought this fight are maybe the most conservative people on the campus. <laughs> We're asking that there be no, no restrictions on the content of speech, save those provided by the courts. And that's, that's an enormous amount of freedom. And people can say things within, within that area of freedom which are not responsible. And now that's, you know, we've finally gotten into a position where we have to consider being responsible because, you know, now we have the freedom within which to be responsible. And I'd like to say, you know, at this time, I'm confident I'm confident that the students and the faculty, University of California, will exercise their freedom with the same responsibility they've shown in winning their freedom. I have here another birthday gift for Mario, uh, which is designed to solve a pressing problem that he faces every now and then. If you saw the photograph in the Chronicle yesterday, you saw that the cop was pulling on his tie. You saw also that he was wearing one. Now, it's that that creates the dilemma. Namely, if you're going to get up on the stage of the Greek theater, you've got to wear a tie in order to be respectable. But on the other hand, what happens when the cops get there? What I have in my hand is the solution. It's the, what the well-dressed demonstrator will wear. And what it does, and what it does is provide the dilemma for the cop. What happens is that when he grabs your tie, it comes off. <laughs> And 
the side today. The, the side effect of that is that you have also one badly frustrated cop sitting there weeping <laughs> and therefore out of commission for the moment. And so here, here is a box of four ties for Mario. Let it be a tie between us. <laughs>